What is going on, guys? We're back with another video, and of course, it is the playoffs. Sadly, the Packers aren't in it, but a lot of teams that were playoff uh, contenders last year didn't make it. I believe there was, what, five, if I'm not mistaken, which is ridiculous, which makes the NFL super fun. Not as a Packers fan, like I said, but of course, still playoff football, still worthy of watching. Obviously, a very nice uh, group of good teams. A couple of teams that were really dominant that kind of fell off late, though, and uh, not really a whole lot of teams that are showing that they're they're that team. You know, I mean, there's teams to beat, but they're that team. Oh, it's, you know, easy, easy money. But, I mean, everyone has their weaknesses, but we're going to go into our predictions. Of course, before we do that, I'm going to uh, say what we had for last week. So, of course, last week, uh, well, technically <laughs> yesterday, uh, we had the uh, the fins over the bills. That did not happen. So, we are 0-1. Falcons over the, you know, took the Falcons. It's 1-1. One one. Cowboys, 2-1. Panthers, 1. So that's 2-2. Uh, two two. Patriots, 3-2. and 4-2. and two. Uh, Lions, 1. So 4-3. Eagles, 5-3. Chargers, 6-3. Uh, Chiefs, 7-3. Bears, 8-3. Ravens, 9-3. Rams, 10-3. Steelers, 11-3. Hawks, 12-3. And, and then the Colts, 13 and 3 which puts us at a 148 to 95 so that uh that ratio is looking pretty damn good i can't complain i am going to uh you know gonna say exactly every team now uh we're not gonna do a week by week because that would just be too many videos for literally like slivers of minutes so of course wildcard weekend uh you know kind of coming up i guess uh you have uh the colts texans chargers ravens Eagles, Bears, Seahawks, Cowboys. Uh, looking at these matchups, the Chargers, Ravens, in my opinion, could be the best game. And then second best, I would say Cowboys, Seahawks. I know the Colts and Texans could be a good one, uh, especially if the Texans are as legit as they kind of seem. I'm not going to say they are legit, but they seem kind of good at this point. Uh, let's take a look at this. So, of course, we have Saints, Rams, Patriots, Chiefs. We'll get into them once we predict the uh, the first set first. All right, so looking at the uh, the NFC and AFC, I think we'll go with the AFC first. You have the Colts and Texans, and honestly, looking at this matchup, I know it's third and sixth seed. It's kind of crazy the Texans could have been two, three, or uh, no, could it be two? I can't remember. It was uh, yeah, I think it was two, three, five, or six. Uh, la you know, just if certain different things happen, they ended up with three, which is not bad at all. Going up against the Colts though, which is. Uh, Honestly, rough. I mean, as a six seed, they're easily the best six seed in. I mean, it's just one of the two other. They're the best six seed uh, remaining in the playoffs. Obviously, uh, the Eagles on the other side. Eh, we'll get to them later. The Colts and Texans. They're honestly really well built for each other. Um, the question is, I mean, it's almost always the question: which quarterback's going to do better? Which ground attack is going to do better? Uh, the Colts kind of found a little bit of a run game later on in the season. Uh, Houston, I mean, they got DeAndre Hopkins. Can there is there really anyone on the Colts that can cover him? That's that's what I'm coming at here. I don't know if that's true, or I don't know if it's possible. The Colts' defense is severely underrated. Houston, who you would you know they kind of expect to have bigger playmakers. They're worse than the Colts technically. They're giving up less points per game by a little bit. But they are the worst team uh, comparatively. And then if you look at offenses, uh, the Colts are pretty damn much better than Houston. Uh, both teams, uh, I don't know, this is this is an interesting one because Houston, their passing yards really aren't super great. I don't really know who I want to give this win to. I think this could be one of the better games. I mean, there's really good games in the wild card round. But, ah, man, I mean, you got Texans at home. Colts this is tough man I really want to give this to the Colts I think I am going to give it to the Colts I'm going to say the Colts win this game then you have the Chargers and the Ravens so uh the LA Chargers ranked number nine in the league 329 points allowed that's I don't know somewhere in the middle I would say of uh the league I mean the yardage is nice but they are giving up quite a bit of touchdowns can't can't lie about that but then of course you got Baltimore the second best defense in the league I know they had the best Yards allowed, whatever. But I, I mean, I have to pretty much call it Chicago the best. Apparently, Melvin Gordon is uh, is going to play. He got injured in a, in a game they didn't need to to even play for. 
the Ravens are a, a, a rough team to like peg here because Lamar Jackson. Everyone's like, oh, Lamar Jackson's doing this and that. He's okay. He is better than Flacco. Not a question about it. Can he? You know, if Philip and him got into a gunslinger battle, can he do it? The question also is, does he need to? Because once again, Ravens best defense. There's there's a thing there. Passing yards per game, not super great, but they are one of the better running back uh, running teams in the league. Especially, you know, because of Lamar, ironically, the Chargers, they kind of seem lost as of late, though. Uh, you know, it's it's a close one. Honestly, I want to give this to the Ravens. That Ravens defense is killing it. I don't know if I can do it, though. I just don't know. I have to give it to the Chargers. I have to. So now going over to the uh, NFC side, we know the Bears and Eagles. So the Bears, where are they going to regret letting the Eagles into the playoffs. Should they have just let the Vikings win and then play them? Because as we've seen, when it was an actual game, which the Bears really didn't even need, you know, we saw that the uh, the Rams were destroying the Redskins early. I believe it was the Redskins destroying them pretty early. So, I mean, they knew that the game was pretty much out of reach before, you know, the number two seed was out of reach before even halftime, and they still did work against them. So we're going to see the Eagles. I mean, reigning Super Bowl champions, injuries did plague them. Nick Foles... I mean, he's their savior. It's, I mean, it'd be crazy for a repeat with Nick Foles, but you're coming off of a little bit of an injury. The Bears' defense is insane. Trubisky, though, I would say right now, I'd say he's the 11th best quarterback in the playoffs right now. The 11th out of 12. I, I really think so. Um, he fits well in their scheme, but offense versus offense, it'll be kind of similar. That's why, like... If it was Wentz, I think we'd have a different story here. A healthy Wentz, at least. But because it's Nick Foles, I, I think it's going to be the Bears are going to win. Then Seahawks versus the Cowboys. Another kind of close matchup here. Dak, he had a, you know, a, a decent performance. Like, it was a good statistically, uh, you know, but the completion percentage was a little rough. It wasn't a gr against a great team. I know the Giants showed a couple of flashes, but I don't really believe in the Cowboys as a team. But do I believe in the Seahawks either? If it comes down to the quarterbacks, the Seahawks win this game. But I don't know. The Cowboys have a really good defense. Their defense is so underrated. Their, their players really stepped up. Kyle Vander Esch was a great pick. If Dak is half on hit, like if he was, if he plays around what he did, I think they'll win. But if he has a normal kind of Dak game, I think Seattle wins. I'm going to, oh man, I'm going to give it to Dallas. It's... It's a tough one, man. This is this is really rough. So we'll you know we'll go uh, left to right again. So the Chiefs, in my prediction, would be playing the the Colts at home. Then you also have the Patriots playing the Chargers. I mean that really didn't matter too much. I'm trying to think, is there even? There's not a whole lot that changes that scenario. I guess the Chiefs ranked as one of the worst defenses in the league. You look at points uh, allowed, and they're what top five? I would say top ten. That defense is rough. Patrick Mahomes has kind of been, you know, he really does remind me of, you know, they have a little bit more talent than the Packers do on offense, but it really does remind me a whole lot of the Aaron Rodgers story. Hopefully for him, it's not the case. They do have a bit more talent, like I said, but it seems like if Mahomes isn't completely on, I'm worried for him because that defense, man, it's it's a liability. Um, the Colts, they have a pretty balanced, good offense, good defense type deal. Gunslinger battle, Mahomes probably wins it. Rushing-wise, though, now, I don't know. I'd like to give this to the Chiefs, but the Colts, man, I just have some weird feeling they're going to go with it. I'm going to give it to the Chiefs, though. I have to. They're... And then here we go, Patriots versus the Chargers. The Chargers, I honestly, I don't think uh, offense versus offense, they can hang with New England. I, I just don't see it. Patriots defense is kind of rough, but the thing about that defense is their points per game is isn't ridiculous they're averaging a, a, an allowed 20 points per game while their offense is scoring 27.3 so they're obviously winning by pretty much a touchdown every game uh Tom Brady has been kind of kind of iffy this season I mean he destroyed the Jets who you know kind of gave the Packers a run for their money so I feel like it's hard to bet against Tom I know Patrick Mahomes is killing it so is Drew Brees but honestly, I have Tom Brady as the number one quarterback here. He's the most experienced in these situations. He's going to be playing at home unless he plays the Chiefs, which obviously more, most likely will happen. But I got to give it to the Patriots simply for Brady. I know I give him some crap here and there, but 
man, I mean, do you really want anyone else besides him in the playoffs? Real interesting prediction there, Chiefs versus Patriots, huh? Uh, let's go to the NFC side where it could get a little more interesting. Bears at Rams. The Bears offense isn't great. It really isn't. I, I That was the big issue. I just don't think they have the offense to do it. But I think they can make it to the championship game if that defense holds up. Todd Gurley is a hard man to stop, though. Uh, do they have enough weapons besides Todd Gurley, though? Like, Jared Goff, he's shown that he is not the most consistent guy like, I don't have the Bears at all in like any any scenario winning the Super Bowl but I think they can get close I think they can get close I'm gonna say I'm gonna say the Bears win I'm gonna say the Bears win the Rams offense is good but every offense is good until they play the Bears it, it's it's that simple they're insane I think the only way the Rams win is if you see a Bears injury honestly limited Aaron Donald very well. The question is, will they be able to do it again? I don't know. Uh, I honestly don't think so. I think Aaron Donald is going to have a break. I mean, not breakout game, but I think he's going to do well against them. But I don't think it's going to be enough. The Bears kind of finally found that run game a little bit. Uh, will they be able to use it? I don't know, man. This is going to have to be one of those rare Trubisky good passing games, which the Rams a little susceptible to in the secondary. So, I'm going to give the Bears the slight win. It's going to be a defensive battle for the Bears. I don't think the offense is going to do well, but I think the defense can hold them just enough to where the Bears can skim over the top like they usually do. Who are they going to meet? So Dallas versus the Saints. The Saints I have as the best team, of course, in the uh, NFC, which, I mean, they, they kind of proved that. Uh, they were and are my – well, the Rams were my Super Bowl pick, but I think the Saints are my Super Bowl pick now. Uh, so – with that being said, the Cowboys, I know the Saints defense is, it's hard to tell. Are they going to be really good? Are they going to be really bad? I mean, they're right in the middle of the pack on defense. Their rush yards per game, their run defense is great. And that bodes poorly for the Cowboys. Dak, if the run game struggles, Dak is done. So, I mean, this one has Saints win written all over it. I don't think the, the Cowboys defense can do a whole lot against Drew Brees. I think the Saints win this one. Chiefs, Patriots, I think the defenses, this is going to be one of those games where it's just going to be super high scoring. It's going to be a fun one to watch. It's going to be nerve-wracking, but I think it's going to be a fun one to watch. I think it's crazy because the Patriots are a little rough, but they always seem to make big plays on defense exactly when Tom Brady and the offense need it. The Chiefs, I don't know if they have that clutch factor. When you have Tom Brady, basically the whole team becomes just clutch as hell. But Patrick Mahomes, is it going to be too much of a stage? That's the real question. Is it Going against what most would consider the GOAT in a game that means Super Bowl after a great season, with all that on the line, I could be that guy. You know, this season would cement me. Like, at the end of the day, if Mahomes wins the Super Bowl, I mean, where does the conversation go, you know? Like that, I mean, I don't even know what to say, you know? It's ridiculous. Uh, Tyreek Hill, I don't think the Patriots can keep up with him. I mean, what team can, really? But can they keep up with him? I don't know. The thing is, though, the Patriots' short style, like passing to the running backs, short little little plays, can the, the Chiefs' inside linebackers handle that job? I don't think they can, and I think... It's crazy to say because at one point the Patriots looked like they weren't even going to make the playoffs. As I mean, they always do. I'm going to say the Patriots win this one in a high-scoring game. I think it's going to be a 10-point win, though. I don't have the Bears uh, winning this game. Unfortunately, I just, like I've said all season, I don't believe in the Bears' offense. I think they're getting very fortunate to play, you know, A, either the Eagles or Vikings here. But I just, I mean, they can win that game. Even the Rams game, I was a little, you know, it's like, eh, are they going to do it? Are they going to do it? I, I, They can win that game. I don't think they can. I mean, the Bears defense is great, but I don't think they're going to be able to keep up with Drew Brees and that offense. Yeah, we have a Super Bowl of Saints versus Patriots, which is pretty legendary. You know, in my opinion, it's not no Rodgers versus Brady, but it's pretty damn close. It's it's like a, it's like one A, like one B, you know, one B matchup at this point. Uh, this is a crazy, it would be a crazy one. I would say a lot of people would be rooting for the Saints. I mean, a lot of people just don't like the Patriots overall. Uh, this is a long video, by the way. <laughs> uh, 
Um, and yeah, I mean, it's a close one. The Patriots defense isn't the Saints. It's definitely not the Saints. I would definitely give the key to the Saints there. Like I said, when it comes to the playoffs, I got to give the edge to Brady, who's had a down year, no question about it. But at the end of the day, he's done the things that his team needs to do to win the games. But as a lot of people say, I think the Saints win the game. Uh, can the once again though, just like the Chiefs, can the linebackers carry, you know, cover those those running backs of the Patriots? I don't know. But at the same time, you look at the other side. Can they, you know, can they contain Kamara? That one-two backfield is ridiculous. The receiving threats aren't absolutely insane for the Saints, but Michael Thomas could have a game. Uh, the Patriots, man, that offense though, I, it's it's really tough, man. This is like this is like a four-point Super Bowl. I'm gonna give the four-point lead to the Saints. Saints win the Super Bowl. Bodush. I don't even know what that means, but there you go. That's my prediction. Let me know what you guys think. I I did look pretty far into this. I know there's gonna be some dislikes every single prediction video ever, unless there's just a clear cut, which clearly this is not the year for a clear cut. Uh, it's gonna get dislikes because there's gonna be people with their favorite teams like, how dare you? think the Cardinals aren't going to win the Super Bowl this year. It's like, what? Which, I mean, ironically, the Cardinals' best pick in the draft, not the worst team. They definitely didn't play like it. They put, put a lot of teams on their heels this year. But, yeah, let's go to Madden now. I know it's, you know, up until now, it's like, okay, fair enough. We'll see what Madden can do. But, yeah, this is, this is just going to look stupid because half the teams aren't going to be correct at all. So here we are. We have the Packers over the Giants. We're going to go straight to the Super Bowl. Uh, Packers over the Giants. I don't know why I even said that. Play, they're playing each other. Giants, Texans. The winner is the Giants. <laughs> oh, God, this is great. So the Giants, who are looking at, what, a top five pick, I'd assume, won the Super Bowl in EA Sim. Looking at the wild card, you have the Patriots over the Jags, the Giants over the Packers, Houston over Miami, Seattle. So looking at the divisional, Houston, Giants, Chiefs, and then the Seahawks. So Houston versus the Chiefs, that could happen. Seahawks and Giants, not going to happen. So I'm going to say that Madden basically predicted Houston versus Seattle with Seattle winning. I know that's not the case, but that's what we're going to say. Hopefully you guys enjoyed this video. I don't think I'm going to... You know, if this video somehow gets 100 likes, I'll think about bringing back predictions next year. But as of right now, I have zero plans of doing it. Maybe we'll do another playoff slash Super Bowl prediction, but that's about it. Hope you guys enjoyed this. Let me know in the comment section what your favorite team is. Did they make it? Who do you think is going to win the Super Bowl is the biggest question. Maybe follow me on Twitter at Jerome P. Care. Probably tweet during a lot of these games and uh, just in general. And, yeah, until next video.